What is up guys, my name is Magic and today I will be showing you how to make a website. In this series I will be teaching you how to install ZAMP, how to make a website from the ground up or using WordPress if you want to. Furthermore, I will be teaching you how to set up a simple MySQL database and how to make your website go live. In today's episode I will simply show you how you can install ZAMP. Just go into Google, type in ZAMP press download, make sure that you pick the right version for your OS, for me it will be obviously be Windows, press download and save it where you want. After you downloaded it, just go into the location where you have it and simply install it. If you have an antivirus running in the background, you will find that this question will pop up. Just press yes and move on. Then you will find the list of all the available components. Uh, what you really need is Apache, MySQL, I would go with FileZilla FTP server so that you can access your website files from a different location, but it's not required. Moreover, if you don't need to send emails from your website, you also don't need Mercury Mail Server, and if you don't need applications running on your website, you also don't need um, Tomcat. Then you also probably don't need Webalizer and fake send mail. That's usually what I would install, simply because it's lightweight and essentials. Then you select the folder where you want to install it. I have a website running, so I will just insert in a different location. There we go. And here you can learn more about Bitnami for ZAMP. Once you installed it, make sure that you check this box and press finish. This will start a control panel from which you can access the essential settings and from where you can start your website. Make sure you press allow and allow again. You can see how you can change the editor with, with which you edit settings and you can set it to auto start to certain modules and you can do a lot of different stuff that I'm not going to go through. Here you can also see the ports that you will need if you want your website to be accessible from other locations and you can check out my tutorial on how to port forward to see how you can open up these ports. Now that we know this, let's go to the location where we installed the ZAMP. You can see other folders here. Well, the one we are really going to be concentrating on is HDocs. This is essentially where your website is. If we start Apache right now and go to localhost, you will see the default application or default website. From here you can learn different things that you will probably need for creating your website and you will be able to see if all the components are running correctly. And this is essentially where you will set up your website. Alright, that's it for this tutorial guys. I will do a next more in-depth one next time and I will see you then. Take care.